So interfacing of LCD with 8051 and we will write assembly language program to display string on LCD. So this is 8051, here reset circuit is shown, crystal oscillator circuit that is external crystal is shown here and this is main interfacing part of LCD. So as we have seen in previous video that LCD is having this different signals. So first data bus D0 to D7, here I have connected D0 to D7 to port P2 of 8051. We can use any port to connect this pins. Then RS terminal that is register select terminal to select command or data register is connected to pin P0.5 of 8051. Read write terminal of LCD is connected to P0.6 and enable terminal is connected to P0.7. And to change the brightness here when port is connected. Now the program statement is, we have to write ALP program to display the string Ganesh on first row of LCD. Now for writing a program, we will use lookup table concept. So to store any data in lookup table, we can use the format like this. I will give name to this string which we I want to display on LCD as string, then give colon and then db in quotation single quote we have to write string which we want to display so here i will write ganesh then end this single quote and to indicate end of string we have to write here zero so db means it stores the 8 bit ascii value of each of this character in memory location so db indicates 8 bit so how this string will be stored in memory so this string needs a 6 uh, memory location plus memory location to store this 0 which indicates end of the string so here string will be stored like this here ascii value of g will be stored at this first memory position then ascii value of a n e s h and then ascii value of 0 will be stored here now what logic we will use we will use a pointer which will point to this memory location where first character of the string is stored so our pointer will point to this memory location we will read this ascii value we will store this ascii value in data register and to display next character we will increment pointer by 1 now every time we will check after reading the data that means ascii value from this lookup table whether that ascii value is 0 or not if it is for 0 then it indicates end of the string and we will stop the program so every time we will read a data that is ascii value where pointer is pointing check whether it is 0 or not if it is not 0 then display it otherwise it indicates end of the program For writing ALP program, we will use three subroutine programs. So one is delay program, second is command subroutine, we will give name as LCD command, third is data subroutine program, so we will give name as LCD underscore data. So command subroutine will write a command in command register, data subroutine will write data in data register. So along with main program, we will use this three subroutine program. So first I will draw flow chart for LCD underscore command subroutine. So first we will store this command, we will assume that command is stored in accumulator. So we will store the accumulator contents or we will place contents of accumulator on port P2. So P2 is our data bus. So actually we are storing a command 
मे बी थर्टी एट एच जीरो ई एच जीरो वन एच और एड्रेस ऑफ कैरेक्टर दैट विल स्टोर ऑन डेटा बस दैट इज ऑन पोर्ट पी टू आफ्टर दैट विल सिलेक्ट रजिस्टर सो सिंस वी आर राइटिंग कमांड दिस आर एस रजिस्टर मस्ट बी एट लॉजिक जीरो सो वील सेंड दिस सिग्नल आर एस इज इक्वल टू जीरो नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज send read write signal so as we are writing a data in command register this read write signal should be zero now to latch this data which is placed on port p2 we have to send enable signal so for that we'll first send enable terminal or we'll make this enable terminal at logic 1 and then we'll send logic 0 on enable terminal so en will be equal to 0 and then we can return to main program so here data is coming from main program will process all this instruction and then return back to main program in the same way we can draw flow chart for lcd data here again the data that means ascii value of character will come from main program will place that ascii value which is in accumulator on data bus that is port p2 select register data register so this side time we'll send logic 1 on rs terminal to select data register again we are performing write operation so r slash w bar should be 0 and to latch this data on data bus we will send enable signal first logic 1 that is high to low pulse we need and then we'll make it 0 and then return back to main program so only difference is in the selection of register flow chart of main program so start first now first step is initialize lcd and to initialize lcd we have to send various initialization command so first command we are going to use is 38h that is select 16 by 2 display so we'll store this command in accumulator and we'll call a subroutine lcd command use same steps to send commands 0eh and 01h so 0eh call command routine same for third command a is equal to 01h and we will call or we will write this command in command register so call lcd command now initialization is over if you want to specify any starting address to display a character we can write same command like in accumulator we can specify the address of character maybe 82h 83h or for next row c0 h or c1 h and then call lcd so same steps we have to repeat to write any command in command register now next is we want to write a data in data register that is ascii value of character so as we have seen we are storing the string db and whatever string we want to display that is ganesh and we are ending this string with zero so this string will write this instruction as a last instruction in our program so the name of this string name of this to this string we have given as a string and it will end with zero 
this string will be written along with our program that is in flash memory so read a data from flash memory we have to use instruction move c a comma at a plus dptr so here dptr we have to use as a pointer which will point first initially to first character of the string that is g and then the ascii value of this g will be stored in accumulator so to read a data from memory flash memory we have to use this instruction before using this instruction will initialize accumulator with 0 0 so that will use only dptr to store the address so accumulator contains a 0 so ascii value of this character will be stored back in accumulator now point dptr to first character of string so in dptr register now store address of string then we initialize accumulator with 0h so that is for this step now to store the address of string in dptr we can use instruction move dptr hash string which will store the address of first character of string in dptr register now we have initialize accumulator with 0 0 and we'll read data from memory location pointed by dptr after reading data from memory we have to check whether this data is zero or not that is to check whether it is end of string or not so the data which we are going to read will be stored in accumulator so we'll check contents of accumulator are zero or not if no that means ascii value of character is in accumulator and we want to display this ascii value so we will call lcd data subroutine so call lcd data subroutine to display ascii value of character so after displaying one character first character maybe we want to display a next character so next block should be increment dptr so dptr will point to next character location and we will repeat this step initialize accumulator to 0 so we'll connect this yes. so after incrementing dptr again we will initialize accumulator with 0 read data from memory if it is not 0 then call lcd data subroutine and increment accumulator increment dptr again if s that means if it is end of the string we want to stop this program so we will stop the program 